What do you think about when you hear continental drift? If you said the continents and movement, then you are correct. Continental drift is the gradual movement of the continent across the Earth's surface. This process of continental drift is caused by the movement of the molten material in the Earth's mantle. The magma in the mantle moves in a circular motion called convection current. The movement of the magma causes the tectonic plates to push upwards at the plate boundaries and causes the plates to move, spread apart, and this causes continental drift. In the 1900s, Alfred Wegener believed that around 200 million years ago, the continents were once joined together in a supercontinent he called Pangaea. Then over time they had split apart, moving ever so slowly around the globe until they reached their present day positions. He called this theory of moving continents, continental drift. Alfred Wigner came up with a number of evidence to support his claim that the Earth was once a supercontinent he called Pangaea. One such evidence is the jigsaw effect. When you observe the map of the world a little closer, you will notice that some of the continents appear as if they had been joined at some point one time. An example of this is the coastline of South America and Africa. When you adjust them together, they will fit nicely together like pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. The same goes for the island of Madagascar. It fits right into the coast of Africa. North America, the North American coastline fits perfectly around portions of Africa. If you were to try and put the pieces of the earth back together, it will look a little something like this. The continents of Europe and Africa has been splitting apart from the American continents for millions of years. The continents move as slowly as our fingernails grow, and as they continue to split, the rift between them, otherwise known as the Mid-Atlantic Ocean, will get even wider. This causes the Mid-Atlantic Ridge to tear more and more as the continents continue to move apart. The process of continental drift is still happening. Scientists believe the Earth will shift, causing the continents to rearrange and get back together and that they will make another supercontinent in the next 250 million years. This video was created and narrated by Michaela Hilton.
are the objectives for today's video number one what is continental drift number two what are the causes of continental drift number th three the main types of plate boundaries what is continental drift continental drift is the gradual movement of the continents across the earth's surface through geological time what are the causes of continental drift they are rotation of the earth subduction plate greenhouse effect ocean floor spreading there are three types of plate margins they are convergent divergent and transform okay so at a divergent plate boundary the plates move away from each other as it is in its name diverge meaning to move apart at a convergent plate boundary the plates move towards each other as it is also in its name converge meaning to collide and finally at the transform plate boundary the plates move against each other causing friction so guys take a look at the earth's surface you may realize that the continents look almost look like they can fit together for instance look at south america west coast you realize that it can fit into africa east coast just like this in 1880 to 1930, Alfred Wegener couldn't just accept that this was a coincidence that the land masses has much similar shaped coastlines. So he think about it and try to come up with evidence. Just to think about it, the continents are moving. There must be a time when all the continents were together. The supercontinent, the Pangaea. Deep into the earth, tremendous heat and pressure within the earth caused a hot magma to flow in convection current due to the convection current the mantle it forces the continent to move and india however joined the continent asia Now it has reached the end of the video, hope you like it.